Hey guys welcome back to my channel it is bitcoin liz and it is as always amazing to have you back here on my channel and especially a day like this because this night we witnessed the golden cross happening actually the thing that i talked about in my latest video that is going to happen very very soon it actually happened this night and as i told you guys we are going bullish after that happening because i mean it's a significant bullish signal and it's a really really important event for bitcoin so I just want to share with you when it actually happened, the, the very moment, I mean the very beautiful moment, it happened here and as you can see it's amazing to see. And why is this so significant? Well, looking at it, historically at it, we have previously seen a price gain of 170% after a golden cross and looking at the current state of Bitcoin that would mean that we can reach $26,000 within two months so this is very some really something you should keep an eye on this is very significant and imagine putting the effect of the halvening on top of that so it's very very important to keep an eye on this guys you don't want to miss out on this one uh, and as as we are speaking of markets, I mean, we do see uh, green numbers all over the markets today. I mean, we we can say that all coins have really uh, made a quite good rebound, which of course is nice nice to see, because uh, it's clear that people have bought at the dip. So that is definitely wise to do to buy at the dip. And you can say that alts are really back. And looking at Bitcoin dominance, uh, it has been between 63, 65 percent. So it's relatively low comparing to what we are usually seeing in more bearish times when it's around 70. So it definitely does look really bright for alts as well, which is of course amazing to see it's always uh, amazing to see when it's going good at the markets like overall and we're seeing green numbers so really guys congratulations to you who are having altcoins anyway so last time we talked about the uh, moving average when we made technical analysis uh, when uh, and when we discovered the golden cross basically and so what is good to have in mind when making technical analysis is that you should usually always have different indicators uh, when when you are analyzing because it gives you a more precise and a broader picture uh, and you can really sense the bullish and bearish signals much better if you're combining different several indicators so therefore i want to uh, talk about another indicator that i'm using and that i really like uh, that is the relative strength index or also called RSI you probably heard about it but I want to explain in more detail so this is an indicator that has been around for a while and it's very very used uh, all over the world so basically it's an indicator that is showing whether the asset is a good deal at the moment or not so the RSI uh, aims to indicate whether a market is considered to be overbought or oversold so it, in relation to the recent uh, price levels of course so basically what it is telling you is is if a market is overvalued or if it has, is uh, discounted. So the RSI calculates the average price gains and losses over a given period of time. And this period of time is usually 14 days, uh, which is basically standard. Uh, so when you are in the trading view, what you do is that you put in the indicator from here, the list, and you just type RSI and you put it in like that. So 14 days, as you can see, it's already pre, uh, pre put in here. So the RSI values are also between uh, 0 to 100 uh, with, uh, with 70 indicating that a market is being overbought in relation to recent price levels and values under 30 are indicating that the market is oversold. So we, as you can see, for example, we do see one of those uh, oversold moments here, for example. And why is this important to know? Well, this is important to know uh, for investors because this is the moment where you want to buy. You want to buy at the discount because then you have higher probabilities of uh, higher gains of course and for example here we do see also a uh, uh, level uh, above 70 so this is a, a indicator of um, a, a market that is uh, overbought so basically overvalued so this is the moment where you want to sell if you are selling it's not a good time to buy 
Uh, and of course, I mean, you can also look at more general levels because as you can see, we are mostly in the uh, time frames or in the frameworks of 30 and 70 uh, regarding the values. It's not that often that we go out of these, uh, these areas. But so you can also look at in more general and draw a line in between, you can say. Uh, so uh, all, all levels above 50 can be considered as more bullish and all levels below 50 are considered more bearish. And as you can see, mostly we are in between there. So, so what is this RSI suggesting at the moment when we are at 57 approximately? It is suggesting that it is, it is still a quite good time to buy Bitcoin. The RSI is showing that the price is fair, basically. And once it goes over 70 here, it's definitely uh, overbought. And this is not a time when you want to buy. But as long as it's below and definitely around their 50 something, it's still a quite fair price. And uh, it's, it's neither overbought or oversold, basically. So usually the indicator, it follows the market, as you can see. Uh, um, and it's, I mean, it's like any other indicator. It's not perfect. It's a great way to take a temperature of the market, you can say. And as said before, the, you should combine at least several different indicators to really get the overall picture and really to get better and more precise signals on what to do. And this is really a way, if you just check these indicators before you trade, I mean, it's it's a way you can keep your probabilities in your favor so definitely do it especially because it's so so easy to do uh, so i definitely recommend to play around in trading view a little bit with the different indicators and combine them and try to get an overall picture with the help of uh, different uh, indicators so yes guys that's what i wanted to share with you today let me know what you think about this indicator is have you used it before have you not and uh, of course, don't forget to hit the like. And I also want to thank you guys for I just reached 2000 um, subscribers. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. I mean, this journey has been crazy. Uh, I've been around for a little bit more than two weeks and already 2000 subscribers. It's amazing. You gave me so much more energy to do this. Uh, so I appreciate you a lot, guys. And of course, if you want to support the channel, check out my affiliate links below and you can also leave a donation if you wish to do that. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys very soon. Goodbye.